Welcome to Live Today. Stephen Curtis Chapman is here talking about his new book, uh, Between Heaven and the Real World. It says my story because, let me tell you, pretty much all of his life story up until the last few months, which is interesting, is in here. Good to have you. Thank you. Good to be with you, brother. This was, this was fun. I was flipping through and I was like, oh, memory lane, because, you know, yes. I grew up throughout your career, so I was like, yeah, I remember stuff like that. George, yeah. George Martin, you met George Martin. Yes. Which is cool. And I didn't know. And you didn't know. I was meeting George Martin. Which is hysterical. So I do tell stories on myself uh, as well as about myself which, in this Which book. is funny. So tell the audience yeah. who he is for yeah. those who are yeah. young. Well, I, well I, it's, it's a better setup if, uh, if, is my audience here? Yeah, I'm looking over here. They're all over, over. I'm looking that, over here. They're everywhere. There. Yeah. Yeah, they're yeah. all over the world. Hello, people of the world. Um, actually, so I'm at a Grammy Awards um, 20 years ago, maybe 15 years ago. And um, I'm sitting, you know, because I was very fortunate to be nominated for a Grammy that particular year, my wife and I, we get two seats in the, you know, down in front. Um, and our, our awards are already given, you know, in the pre-telecast, you know, where they occasionally flash your picture and say, in, in you know, previous gotta, ceremonies, yeah. but, you know. They gotta before. be careful letting Christians come talk on the stage. Yeah, right, they, so. yeah, they're very careful about that. <laughs> so, uh, but, but they do, you know, so even though our awards, are not presented during that time. We we were able to sit down there, kind of in the in the really upfront good seats. And um, my producer, uh, Phil Nash, who produced all my first five or six records, great talent, great man. Uh, he and his wife were sitting further back. And uh, so at an intermission, um, I'm I, we kind of run back. There's a break, and and I see him kind of back in the lobby somewhere. And I'm going to the bathroom, something, you know, and we're running into him. And he's like, can you believe who you're sitting beside? And the whole time I'm thinking, you know, I'm, I'm seeing like, you know, there's Madonna over there and there's Sting and there's Bruce Springsteen and, you know, there's all these stars. And I've got this very stately looking, white haired, you know, elderly, uh, you know, yeah. gentleman beside me. Um, and I'm thinking, I don't know who this guy is, but you know, he looks kind of important, mm -hmm. looks cool. And um, so I, I'm, I'm talking to my producer and he's like, you're sitting beside George Martin. Can you believe it? And I kind of went, that, that's George Martin? He's like, yeah, it's George Martin. And then I, these words came out of my mouth, who's George Martin? <laughs> he's, he looked at me, he was just like, his eyes were huge. <laughs> right, he went, right. Only the producer of like all of the Beatles records. Mm. I mean, this guy defined pop music mm. as we know it. Probably everything that's going on in here tonight in some way was influenced by the guy you're sitting beside, George Martin, producer of the Beatles. Yep. And I went, oh, that George, that George Martin. Yeah, I know that George. <laughs> I tried to pass it off, but it was already, I was exposed well, but at least, in my ignorance. At least it was an intermission like, so you could go back and go, Mr. Yes. Martin, by the way, it's just an yeah, honor. Yeah, to yeah. Oh, I followed your work me, your whole life. Yeah, I believe really me, I went back and, and yeah, and totally acted like I knew That's great. So what, I mean, that's, mm. and that kind of stuff, I love that kind of stuff, yeah. you know, and, and someone telling their story because yeah. those are fun, those mm. are fun things. What, what else? kind of should we highlight here in this brief time? Well, you know, it is, uh, the, the thing I quickly realized is that I have lived about, I don't know, it feels like maybe 10 to 15, possibly 20 lifetimes in, in one life. Um, it was amazing just remembering and retelling the journey, you know, of my life from the beginning uh, as much as I could remember. How old and, were you uh, when share. you started singing I in started front of people? I started playing music when I was, well, I started playing music around seven or eight years old yeah. with my family. We started singing in church together and I get to share even how I came to faith in Christ and just how transformational that was in my family's yeah. life uh, from mom and dad who weren't, you know, they, they'd grown up in church. We were in the buckle of the Bible belt in Kentucky, but not walking with the Lord and to watch how God really used uh, music even in our family, but I mean, God really uh, radically kind of changed my parents who had very little chance of making it in their marriage. And I mm. share the story of how I, I was really even brought into our family at a point where it was either we should kind of give up and get divorced because it's just not working or what if we had another child? And wherever that thought oh, came wow. from, it was God kind of giving them this idea of maybe that would kind of help bring us oh, together. So, wow. you know, the interesting dynamic is I was kind of born into that role of 
save the day, save my parents' marriage, and, and kind of yeah. be, you know, that that uh, uh, guy who's going to fix what was broken. And you know, the there, there's two edges to that sword. It's been, you know, the 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 challenge then is I'm thinking that my job is to fix, you know, everything that's broken, mm -hmm. and realizing that uh, I wanted to title the book at one point talked to my publisher about it and couldn't convince them, but uh, the title Unfixable uh, was something that I felt like would really go along well with my story because I feel like a lot of the journey has been coming to those places throughout my life, uh, even as I share the story of, you know, music and, and great opportunities that God opened up for a kid from Paducah, Kentucky, who never imagined I would get a chance to do the things I've done. But throughout that journey, uh, hitting kind of brick walls of, the unfixable, broken things in life, in yeah. the world, um, yeah. in relationship, um, and you know, ultimately, even in, in as I share in detail, you know, our journey of losing our youngest daughter, um, which you know, a lot of people know our story with that, and and we've shared a lot about it, but really, a chance for me to share just what that journey has been like. Mm -hmm. uh, but in all of that, seeing. Uh, and, and especially even as I looked back on that journey and took that journey again with this book, the most profound places that I've seen God, uh, I've, I've experienced and encountered God in my life have been in those broken places yeah. because that's who He is. He's Redeemer. He's the one who restores and He takes those broken things until heaven, until, you know, we're on this journey, the title between heaven and the real world. I kind of feel like, you know, I've had one foot in both, you know, I write songs and try to encourage people and share my faith journey and, and the longing for heaven. And that longing became exponentially greater eight years ago yeah. when we lost our daughter. But living in a very real broken world with unfixable yeah. things and people and even myself, what do you do with that? Mm. And only the grace of God can can handle that mm. problem. And it's been my journey of trusting Him, having to trust Him more, um, having to learn to rest in His uh, His promises and uh, His Word, and uh, hopefully sharing that journey in a way in this book that others will not just be reading the story. Oh, that's interesting. Stephen Curtis Chapman went through that or experienced that. But really, my, my prayer and hope is that others on their journey between heaven and the real world would would be encouraged and yeah. find themselves in those stories and go, sure. yeah, I can I can relate to that and just and do it in an honest way that others would really be able to be encouraged by. Yeah, we appreciate you doing that. And I have no doubt that a lot of people are going to enjoy yeah. both the light stuff, but then the testimony yeah. through it all because, you know, it's easy to put mm -hmm. singers, ministers on a podium and think life is perfect for them, but mm -hmm. it's tough. Yeah, it's tough, but yet at the end, mm -hmm. your relationship with God is better than ever. Can I presume so much? Yeah. Well, my my trust in Him is um, deeper than I ever would have imagined. Yeah. Uh, my my hope in His promises. My you know, I, there's a lot about God that uh, I think I uh, I thought I knew mm -hmm. that you realize. No, I don't think <laughs> that box, he doesn't fit in that box or doesn't right. fit those, uh, you know, it doesn't operate in those ways that I kind of thought I had it figured out and really would have liked to have stayed in control of how God was going to operate and answer prayer. So there's a lot of mystery. There's more mystery and more about God in, in his ways that I don't know, yeah. but more uh, of a confidence that he is a God who is with us and a God who is for us because you on our journey. You felt them in the good times and the bad. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Good stuff. We appreciate. It. Is there a website for the book, or is it just your website? You know what? Uh, just StephenCurtisChapman.com is a great place to go to mm -hmm. find out uh, information about the book and You're about this year? me. And I am. I'm getting ready to head out on a tour called uh, the Road Show Tour cool. with Francesca Battistelli oh, wow. and Passion and. Uh, uh, Rent Collective oh, and good Jordan guys. Feliz and uh, yeah, a big, yeah, big big group of yeah, us are yeah, going to yeah. go out. So I'm excited about that. I'm, uh, I'm looking so. looking forward to being with those folks and uh, getting back. I've had a little bit of a break, a little time uh, off, and uh, getting ready to head back out for that and to kind of 
share a little bit about this book. And um, so looking forward to that. Man, I hope, I hope it's the best year of your life. Thank you. So we, we, you, we appreciate your ministry. We appreciate you sharing your story and always your music. We're just going to listen to you on the radio. Just keep doing it. As long as you keep singing, we'll keep listening to All you on right. the radio. Between Heaven and the Real World, Stephen Curtis Chapman. Check it out right now on his website, and you can see more of him on Life Today on our broadcast program. That's available at lifetoday.org. Thank you for watching and sharing this interview. Be sure to check out the social media for Life Today Television, and you can connect with me on Facebook and Twitter. And if you haven't already subscribed or followed this channel, do it now so you can see more of our great guests.